My name is Natalie and we're gonna go through Bitcoin and Ethereum and on Bitcoin so yesterday we did talk about this double bottom that we had and we did break this neckline right here and the market is actually on its way down to retest it what we have to do right now is that we have to be very sure about where to buy the market where that is I'm gonna show you in the video and on Ethereum we did break to the upside and also there where can we potentially come to to find our entry will it be around here will it be around here or will it not even go down that far so just continue watching this video and I'm gonna show you exactly what I see on the market <laughs> Let's go into Ethereum right away and we can see that on a daily, we can see the whole picture that we had this triangle, we broke to the upside and Ethereum continued up. And we do have the, oh, let's see. Yeah, we have the high right here, the resistance that we had and the market is continuing up to that zone. I never really touched it, but it's on its way up there. Uh, it could potentially uh, go down a little bit more after this. I mean, we're on the four hour right now. So right now, if you're looking at the lower time frames, we are just moving sideways right now. And I put this trend line right here to see if the market is going to respect it. And it actually did. It just came up to the trend line again. So what we potentially could see is that the market actually retrace a little bit we have a support right here right so the market could come down there it could come down here retest it and then continue to the upside but if the market break this little support that we're having and we're using the lower time frames just to see you know to see more clarity on what's actually happening if the market comes down here and we and do respect it and we also we also will have a double bottom right here at the support and on the second leg, if it's closing above the first leg, you could you can buy the market if if it shows uh, doges and or maybe engulfing candles. You don't have to have a engulfing candle on the higher time frames. You can also see it on the lower. You can use it on the thirty minutes too, because you can see right now we have a huge candle to the downside, and we also are making lower highs. So lower this is the high this is the lower high and we have a lower high so the market can could potentially come down here respect it if we're using the 15 minutes again and if we will see a sell opportunity we want the market to break this support that we're having and come come back up retest it as a resistance and then continues down so where can the where can we have the potential where can the pullback come to well we have the zone right here and if we're looking back at the higher time frames we can see that we do have a resistance right here so if the market comes back down there i mean it, it makes a lot of sense if it would do that and we can try to use the fibonacci and see if it's going to help us so we're taking the Fibonacci from 3391 to the high and that's 3833 three, three. and you can actually see that the 51 the 50 and 61 percent is just around that area so we do have a a strong level right here so if we see that the market will break this support turn into resistance and we can we can sell the market and the market can come down here so you have your take profit around you have your target in this area because remember that we are in a uptrend so we don't we, we're not supposed to sell forever so we actually need to be very be careful of where we have the the, the target You're using the candlestick to see if the market is reversing to the upside again but this is something that could happen because I'm looking at the at this wicks uh, this huge candle right here and it does respect it 
the market can come down a little bit more and um, but that's something that we have to see but this is a very good zone for us to use if the market comes there because right now we're not supposed to buy or sell because we need the market to show us exactly what it's doing and if we can we can also look here that we do have a little triangle on the lower time frames and i'm using the 15 minute on the right side if the market starts to come back down here we want the market to break to the upside break this trend line that i'm having right here or it will break the support that we're having at the 37 33 we're waiting for the market to break the lower highs because right now we're doing lower highs and we need the market to break to the to the upside and that means we're looking for higher highs and higher lows so this is what potentially can happen uh, if the market breaks the 37.34 area and it can come back down to 36.20 and that's also our Fibonacci level that we're having around here. Remember, this is a zone, it's not just one particular price, it's a zone. We're looking at to where the market reacts and we need a support or assistance because it's from those levels that we're trading from. So this is what can happen right now on Ethereum. And if the market comes back down here and we will see the market continue to the upside, obviously we will have our first take profit, your, your, your first take profit target at these levels right here at 38 32 because then the market will if the market comes back down do its pullback well we need to break this this previous high high to make another high high so our first target can be around here and the other target that we will have we're using the previous high is that zone and that's for the 143. So if we're buying the market and you'll have more positions than one, you can have the first take profit at 38.74 and the next one for the 143. Bitcoin is looking kind of funny right now. I mean, it's on its way to the upside. Uh, I do believe the market will break this zone and that zone is 49.657. Uh, I do believe that tomorrow it will break it, but that's something that we just have to wait and see. But what I do believe the market can do, like right now we're looking at the daily and the market does respect the previous high that we're having around here. And the market has just been consolidating the whole time. We're going down to the lower time frames. Uh, we're looking at the four hour. The market actually broke this high. And this is this was what I was talking about yesterday. We had the double bottom. We have the neckline right here. The market broke it to the upside comes back down and usually what the market is doing is that it res comes back down and retest the neckline. The market can come down a little bit more. It doesn't have to re react to this sp specific area or zone. It can come back down a little bit and then start to go to the upside because remember trading is not perfect. The market will never show you. <laughs> it will never be the way we want it to be so that's why you have to be careful and that's why you have to be patient to see what it's actually doing but we're using both higher time frames and the lower time frames to see where the market potentially can come to so right now we are doing a pullback so what i usually do i'm taking the fibonacci level from the low to the high and the low is around four seven five two five to the high and that's fifty one four one and we can see that the market uh, we can see that the Fibonacci level is around here so I'm using I still use the 50 and 61 percent and what do we have here? Well, the market has been in this area for a lot, for a couple of times. It was actually a support for a while, came back down, broke the support, made a resistance for a while, did spike up, gave us a, a little retest to the previous high low that we're having, having here, broke it, came back down, uh, up, I mean, sorry. Uh, retested it, retested the support, came broke to the downside again, came back up, and you can see that the market has been been around this this area a lot of times. 
so if the market comes back down again well it's been there a lot for a couple of times so it, it could potentially come back to it so we can use the lower time frames and see that we are actually right here so this is a zone i'm using the 58961 zone yeah we you know it's around this area but you see that you're having a resistance right here and as uh, and also the same here if the market comes back down here and retest this high that we're having and starts to do high high and high lows we can buy the market at the second leg so this this will be a double double bottom but if the market will retrace a little bit more and if it breaks this support make a resistance can come back down a little bit more because you can see that on the higher time frames, we do respect this high that we're having. It comes back down, it can give us a little downtrend on, on, on the lower time frames. And just because the market comes back down here, that's okay. I mean, the market has to come down for it to be able to go up again. That's how market is moving. It goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, sideways, sideways, up, goes down. It's like, it, that's, that's the circle all the time. The thing we have to figure out is what is the market doing? So we can see right now the market is on its way down. So we need a pullback. Pullback, I mean, it does look kind of good if the market comes here to our Fibonacci level. That's the 61 and 50%. And on Bitcoin right now, I'm using the 4-hour and that's the 48, 50, 48... It's around four to eight five three nine and four eight eight four two. You can also have the Fibonacci level from the low here. It doesn't matter. It's almost at the same place. You can you, you can see if the market comes here, you can use move your Fibonacci a little bit just to see where it comes to and how it reacts to it. I do believe that the market will continue. As I told you before, we do have a double bottom neckline broke it to the upside comes back down retest this area and then continues up and the next zone that we're having for the market to come to is this zone right here and i took it from the daily because you can see that the market has been here too so we did spike to the downside and we did have a support right here and we were there for a couple of days one two three four broke it so this is if the market breaks this resistance that we're having here turning it into support i i i see more i see bitcoin coming to 53 430 so that's my target but we have to wait and see what bitcoin will do on the lower time frames you can see on the higher time frames that we do respect the high we might just close up below but it's a couple of hours before the daily closes so a lot of things can happen but i do believe we will come back down here but i do not i don't i cannot see the market coming down more than that but that's something we have to see you know follow follow candlestick patterns follow market structure that's what we're using so but I, I do not believe the market will just break to the downside right now i do believe bitcoin will push through this resistance that we're having at four nine six five seven I'm excited to see what's going to happen tomorrow and we'll just continue watching the market, analyze it and never use our emotion to this. Always follow price and what it shows us what to do. If you like this video, please like it, share it with your friends, comment below if there's something that you're wondering. So thank you so much. My name is Natalie. See each other tomorrow.